About 8 months ago, I made a cinematic tutorial, it flopped, but I'm making a better one, so who cares? No, but seriously, in that video, I saw how to make cinematics. In this video, however, I'll be showing different cinematics you can do on Safe Factor. So, let's go ahead and hop into the first cinematic, up, down. First, you want to record your cinematics in a similar way to each other. For example, in this recording, I'm going diagonal, and in this recording, I'm going diagonal too, but in a different direction. This will give it the down up effect when we reverse it in Set Factory. Once you have your cinematics, go ahead and hop into Set Factory. Create a new project and put all the cinematic clips you recorded in there. Trim out the excess footage and clone each clip just like this. Put a reverse effect on all of the clone clips and then time bit of the clone clips. Put it on the fastest time it can go. Now put a blur effect on all of the reverse clips. This will give it that transition feel when we speed the clip up. Now with the regular clips, cut the clips into three parts just like this. Two to be fast and one to be slow. Slow down the clip in the middle. Repeat this for all of the regular clips. Now you can speed these clips up if you can. I personally always try to speed these up, but if you can't, don't worry about it. Now put a blur effect on every clip that isn't slowed down. And that's really it. You're practically done. Export this into your gallery. Now save the project and create a brand new project. In this project, import the clip you just exported. Now speed this clip all the way up. Of course, according to, you know, how fast you want it. One tip, if you want your cinematics to be one second long and it won't let you export, put a screenshot next to the cinematic and export it. When you put it in your montage, trim the screenshot out of the video just like this, so the cinematic is only there. And that's how you do a down cinematic. Now, I'm not going to go into this much detail with the other two because they're practically made the same way, but with different camera movements. So, let me explain. Left rights are very similar to up downs. As you can see, just move the camera just like this and do it either the same or the opposite for the other cinematic. It could come out going the same direction just like this or back to the opposite. It's your choice, which is why practicing these will give you so many options to choose from. Now, terrain building is a little bit different. No reverse is used in this, but just the surroundings and replay mode. As as you can see, this cinematic ends with the ramp almost covering the whole screen. If I record another cinematic that starts with a similar object covering the screen, it will give a sort of masking transition for Safe Factory, which is pretty cool. So the outcome would be something like this, and that's three cinematics you can use in your montage. If this video helped you in any kind of way, shape, or form, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, make sure you guys subscribe. Check out my socials, I'll be posting way more there, especially TikTok. And yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.